Now that we've talked about the project panel and we've imported objects, it's now time to use the stuff we've imported by bringing those objects into compositions and making layers out of them. We'll be looking at that throughout this chapter. Let's start by looking at what a composition is. Essentially, a composition can be compared to a container. Essentially, this is something, again, that holds all of our files. A composition is also kind of like an independent timeline. You might prefer to think of them as like separate movies within your project. And as I mentioned, compositions are like a container. We use them to store our video and text and images and whatever else you bring into your project. And the cool thing about these compositions is that these compositions could also be stored in other compositions. The process of putting compositions in other compositions is referred to as nesting. We're going to be devoting an entire chapter to this subject later on in this training series. So you don't really need to know how to do that now. Just know that it can be done. Now let's see how this works. I'm going to be using this Compositions Intro project. You'll find this in the Chapter 4 folder. And let's say I've imported this laziest Martian ever clip, one of those great B-movie clips from Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. And we want to use this and we want to work on it, maybe color adjust it or whatever. We can't just work on it here in the project panel. We have to add it to a composition, these containers we've been looking at. So the way that we do that is by creating a new composition. I can do that by clicking this little button down at the bottom of the project panel. It also pays to note that this icon always means composition in After Effects. So as you look here in the project panel, you can tell that this is a composition because of its icon. And down here in the timeline panel, this composition that's open, we have a composition as a layer in this composition. Again, we know that because of this icon. So let's go ahead and click here to create a new composition. Now there's a lot of technical video mumbo jumbo here. And so we're gonna talk about this a little bit later in chapter six when we look at video issues. For now, go ahead and from the preset dropdown, select NTSC DV, and then I'll click okay. And this comp one is the composition we just created. Right now it's completely empty, there's nothing here. But notice that it's tabbed. So we have this about compositions tab, and then I could go back to the other composition. So we could have multiple compositions open in any given project. We'll talk in much more detail about adding footage to compositions in the next movie, but for now, just grab this clip and drag and drop it down into this composition. It now becomes a layer in this composition. And now as we move the current time indicator, we move in time. And so we could see the clip move in time as well. So as you can see, maybe another way to think of compositions is like little mini projects within the big project. Also, you might have noticed that the footage is much smaller than our composition. If you ever want to create a composition that's the exact same size as your footage, here's a shortcut for that. You can just drag the footage to the new composition icon at the bottom of the project panel. And there is a new composition that's the exact size, dimensions, pixel aspect ratio, and everything else of this clip. So again, compositions are the foundational building blocks in all of After Effects. They are like separate mini projects, and you will do all of the work that you do in After Effects on layers in compositions. And by the way, if you close one by clicking an X next to its name, maybe to make things a little bit more tidy down here in the timeline panel area, you can just double click it from the project panel to open it back up again. Next, we'll look at the different ways and methods to import footage into compositions.